All right, answers to question number four. First one, the energy acquired by a particle carrying a charge equal to that on the electron as a result of moving through a potential difference of one volt. That is the definition of electron volt. It is the energy acquired by an electron when it moves through a potential difference of one volt. Number two, the paddle plate capacitor has a capacitance of C. The area of the plates is doubled. So now you see that in place of A, the area of the plates becomes 2A. The area of the plates is doubled and the distance in place of D now becomes D by 2 because the question says the distance is made half. Now mathematically, this 2 goes to the top, so it becomes 4. Therefore, the answer becomes 4 times the original capacitance. And in question 3, the electron is moving in a direction opposite to the electric field. We do know that the direction of the electric field is from positive to negative, but the electron is moving in the opposite direction. So, it's moving from the negative plate to the positive plate. We know that negative has low potential, the positive has high potential. But because it's an electron, it's negative charge, it's moving from low, I mean, uh, low potential to high potential, but it's moving from high potential energy to low potential energy. So just remember that on the positive plate, whatever the charge is, the potential is higher. But if it's a negative charge, then at the positive plate, its potential energy is smaller. Number four, again, the capacitor is connected to a battery and becomes charged. Remember that uh, the charge does not change. So there is no change in Q, but the separation between the plates is increased. Now, since capacitance is given by this formula, if you increase D, then the capacitance decreases. And in this formula, if the capacitance decreases, the denominator decreases, no change in Q, then surely the potential energy increases. And number five, the object A has a net excess of electrons. That means it has a negative charge, which means it has a negative potential. It's connected to the ground. Ground is always at zero. And we know that zero is greater than negative. Therefore, the, the object B, which is grounded, is at a higher potential. Number six, whenever you charge a conductor, the charges are uniformly distributed on the outer surface. They, they are not clumped together, they get uniformly distributed. So the answer is D. And in number seven, uh, you have a positive charge at one corner, and you have a negative charge at any one of the other three remaining, could have been any of these places. But whatever be the case, remember that the distances from both the positive and the negative are equal. And uh, positive charge produces a positive potential here. Negative charge produces an equal negative potential here. So they cancel out and the total potential is zero. On eight is a similar question. Uh, if you have a positive charge and it contributes 3 volt and if you have each of the other three corners filled so now you have four similar charges and therefore the total potential would be 12 volt all of them being positive number nine doubling the voltage across a given capacitor okay you see the capacitance doesn't change it's a constant 
And therefore, if the voltage is doubled, when you take the square of that whole quantity, you're going to get four times V squared. Therefore, the potential energy becomes four times, it quadruples. Ten, by the definition of an equipotential surface, the potential is equal at all points. That means there is no potential difference, which means there is no work required to move any type of charge from one point to the other. This is simply the definition of potential difference. And number 11, one electron volt is, of course, the charge of the electron multiplied by one volt, which is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. 12. It says that a battery charges a paddle plate capacitor fully and is then removed. The plates are immediately pulled apart. Charge does not change. It's only the distance that increases. If the distance increases and there is no change in potential, no change there, uh, then surely the intensity decreases. Okay, now the question here is about the potential difference. Well, I was looking at question 13 and trying to explain that. Now, this is actually question 12, so going back over it again. Intensity of electric field is given by this formula when D increases with no change in voltage. Question says constant voltage. Surely the intensity, which is strength of the electric field, decreases. Now, number 13 now. Capacitance is the ratio of charge to potential difference. Here, the plates are being separated, which means D increases. If D increases, the capacitance decreases. And when the capacitance decreases in this formula, holding the charge constant, this decreases, it's in the denominator, therefore the voltage has to increase. 14. The main purpose of a dielectric material is to increase the capacitance. So definitely, K being greater than 1 for paper uh, increases the capacitance. And 15. Electric dipoles are always equal and opposite charges separated by a short distance. So the charges are equal in magnitude, opposite in sign. 16. Potential is given by KQ by R and at 2 meters away uh, if it is 100 volt when the distance doubles of course the potential becomes half. 17. Which of the following is not a vector? By definition electric potential is a scalar because electric potential is defined in terms of work. And the last one is the same as 16. The distance doubles, potential becomes half, so it was negative 100, now it becomes negative 50. I hope you understand this and try to study for the exam. Thank you.